coach, uh, we just talked to, to Kersey, and uh, she said she's really excited uh, on Saturday to facing somebody other than, you know, humble State yeah. in the uniform. So, uh, you know, ha having, you know, facing, you know, some Oregon scrimmage, I mean, yeah, yeah, but that, just to face a, another team after all these practices. Yeah, you know, we, we've We've only had, I think, five practices so far, full practices, and we've had our individual workouts, which is just a few hours a week. Um, but it's just so nice to go up against somebody else. It, it really helps um, you know, see what you need to work on, see what, what you, you're kind of doing well, and, and go from there. And Southern Oregon's going to be good. They're um, you know, picked to win their conference, and, and so it'll be a nice challenge for us come Saturday. Uh, on your roster, you know, quite, quite, you know, quite a few seniors uh, don't expect a lot from the season, but what have you learned so far in practice uh, with your players? Um, we have a fun group. They they work hard. They uh, want to w want to improve every day. They come ready to play, and, and they're very competitive. And, and this, that's one of the best attributes I think is they want to win. You know, every drill we do is one that. Is usually competitive. It's for points. There's a consequence, and and you know there's a winner, there's a loser, and and there's consequences for your losses. And so we try to to have that vibe all the time in practice. And then um, and these guys really get after it. And, and I think we're we're really deep, and so it it helps in that our practices are going to be really tough and very competitive. And so right now it's still a lot of you know there's still a lot of learning going on, and and a lot of our newbies are still thinking about what they're doing and, and aren't able to just play, but. I think pretty soon they'll, you know, hopefully stop thinking and, and just be able to get after it. How much are you guys working on uh, defense? You know, Kersey was saying that, you know, especially for her, uh, you know, working on her defense, but how important is it uh, everybody be on the same page? And, uh, you know, we hear about defense, you know, wins championships. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, we, we obviously take pride in our defense and, and we work hard. We, we, like I said, I think we're more athletic, we're a little deeper, and I think that we'll be better defensive team, but it does, it, it does make a big difference um, that everybody on is on the same page. Uh, there's so much help defense and, and trusting your teammates and all those things that go into being a good defensive team and um, obviously and then also securing rebounds and so you know there's so many little parts of the game that are that are huge and, and we think that that's one that you can you know be more consistent with night in and night out. You know you might miss shots here and there but your defense needs to be consistent. Uh, you know you talk the seniors, you know, Kersey, and then you, you have, uh, you know, those seniors and players coming back. Um, next year, um, how excited are you as a coach, knowing that you have, you know, a lot of experience and seniors that will, you know, most likely probably be starters uh, for you, but uh, how excited as a coach are you for that? Oh, it's so nice. It's, it's huge to have so many veteran players um, back and then so many, you know, new players that can contribute right, right away. And, and um, as you mentioned, you know, having Kersey at the point guard is, you know, a coach's dream. She, uh, you know, does everything we ask. She works really hard and is a kind of a calming force on the court. We we know that she's a really good player, but she also does a nice job of uh, getting her players to her teammates to play well. So that's kind of a, a sign, I think, of a great player is is that she makes her the people around her better and um, just has uncanny timing and you know gets people the ball at the right time and all those kinds of things. So. Um, you know, I can't speak enough about her, and and then so many others coming back. You know, Jay Shin, Danny Gomer, Megan Shields, Amanda Coons. They all were in the starting lineup at some point last year, and so you know, having those guys back is huge, and and then a lot of depth as well coming in. Um, quite a few local players on the team, but they you know talk about Amanda Coons from McKinnonville. She's a player that, especially last season, for them, so she really her game just continues to improve. It does, Amanda. Um, Finally, you know, not finally, but Amanda gained confidence, and and toward the end of the year, she just really uh, exploded. And I think a lot of it was was confidence for her. She she had got the experience under her belt to play at this level. Um, she realized she could play at this level, and and came in and um, filled a spot when we needed it because of injury, and then kept the spot because of her output and and her work ethic and um, her ability to make plays. And so. She was a uh, you know able to do those things for us. Kersey, we asked Kersey to do a lot as far as making plays either for herself or for her teammates, and then Amanda was able to do that as well, which really helped you know alleviate some of the pressure on, on having Kersey do everything for us. So um, you know we see a bright future for her.